Excuse me, mate. If your name's not down, you just ain't getting in. Ah, oh, the immortal verse of the bouncer. Now, for all those of you with long memories, this sequence might look familiar. Yet, you may remember it from several of the original PlayStation 2 demonstrations, this one being courtesy of Final Fantasy creators Square. It was an initial glimpse of a title that promised to be an adventure-based fighting game. This game eventually made it onto Japanese store shelves just before Christmas of last year, and as you can see, it's gone through some major changes. What's particularly noticeable is how the main characters have evolved into their final form, something that Square's renowned character designer, Tetsuya Nomura, has been responsible for. Their style is, as you can see, remarkably close to his previous designs for the Final Fantasy series. We spoke to the director of the project to find out more, and found out that they're extremely personal about their projects. The emotional inspiration for this game probably reflects my sense of values. In games and in movies, we see a lot of characters, but in this game, I have these characters who reflect what I want to say about life. And so that very, very basic emotion or a basic sentiment that I've always got in my heart is thrown out to be expressed in the game. And most players out there tend to demand one very simple thing out of this type of entertainment experience. The emotional involvement of an adrenaline rush. It's that simple. And the key to successfully achieving this, as they say, is in the details. This is an action game. I want the players to feel excited when they're in the fighting scenes. I want them to feel as if they're fighting the enemies. And I want them to feel like they want to beat up the enemies. And that's why I decided to use voiceover this time, together with the improved facial animation. I don't think that I would have used voiceover without facial animation, but these two things together make the game even more realistic and convincing. All of this dedication to reproducing human expression has been the driving force in Square projects over the last few years. A prime example of which being the motion capture expertise learnt since first bringing the Final Fantasy series to the original PlayStation. Back when they first showed the bouncer, they also demonstrated their proficiency in being able to implement the data created to generate pre-rendered sequences into a real-time scene on the PlayStation 2. Within the bouncer, this same talent is employed to great effect, such as this marvellous touch, the stumble of this character during this tense sequence. Although it was still all meticulously planned, as this storyboard comparison demonstrates. But all of this nail-biting stuff would be for nothing if this, the soundtrack, had been absent. We use two categories of music here. One is the regular background music, the music that we use for action scenes. And for that, mainly we use techno music just to accelerate or promote the excitement of the scene. The other type of music that we have is soundtrack music, and this kind of music is really to help the storyline, to reinforce the storyline. We use orchestration and some other musical elements for that. They even went to the considerable lengths of mixing parts of the soundtrack in multiplex standard Dolby Digital Surround sound. Oh yes, this has been quite a project, even by Square's standards. It took us almost two years to develop the bouncer. I would say about 70 people worked on this team. And if you add the voice cast and the sound crew for both Japanese and English, that would add up to 150 or so. With this sort of production investment and film studio-like approach, you might be thinking that Square has ambitions as a digital challenger to some of the major Hollywood players. And with results like these, not forgetting their first cinema movie due out for this summer, you big shots in LA might want to contemplate the future. Your rock and roll lifestyle days could well be numbered.